Let's save that for later. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, we're going to be exploring a map that you guys have been suggesting that I do pretty much since I started making these videos. And to be honest, I didn't really understand why. Uh, the map is called RP Banklaw, and from the thumbnail, it didn't really look spooky. Uh, except in the same way that all source maps are kind of inherently spooky. I mean, sure, we do have this whole empty city with the soundscapes unaccompanied by anyone to make those sounds. And you do have the slightly odd architecture combined with realistic textures. But the same could be said of pretty much any map. That is, until I learned that this map is hiding something. Apparently, if we look around, we'll find an actually pretty extensive underground. Now, before I head for the underground, I'll do my obligatory once-over of the surface. And obviously, the first thing that's going to catch my eye is that... Water tower? It looks like a water tower, but it seems kind of angular for that purpose. It almost looks sort of like there's a house perched up there. Oh no, it's like a whole building. Okay, well, I know where I'm going first. The way it stands on its legs and the way I thought it was a house from the side, I thought, wow, has the Baba Yaga modernized? The Baba Yaga, of course, being... I, I learned about this creature from Arthur. I really love those old edutainment shows, especially Arthur. That show had a vibe to it that gave it the best creepy episodes, alongside Hey Arnold. Unfortunately, they had to cut the scene, showing what she did to those guys in a bar with a pencil. Alright, let's climb up here with this convenient ladder. I always like to mime- Ow! I just hit myself in the head. I always like to mime doing the ladder movement, even if I don't actually have to do it. Now, it doesn't look like the map itself is actually that large, but... Uh, there is something of an interesting structure over there. Maybe we'll check that out. You know, this map doesn't look that big, but people told me that the underground is huge, so I'm really curious to know... Is there maybe more underground than above? Uh, actually, I spy what looks like a tunnel or a parking garage over there. I have to say, looking out at this, it's almost like no clipping to the top of a map in some early 2000s PC game. You have all these assets in the distance that would normally fill out the distance of a cityscape, but from up above you see they're just objects placed in a grass field. Oh, wait, 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 before I open this door, what was it? One of you said that there's a setting that makes opening doors easier. Replace door use mechanics. Let's see if that's it. Oh. Wait, the, the difference is subtle, but yes. So instead of having to hunt for it, instead of having to hunt for the sweet spot, it actually just snaps my hand right onto where it needs to be when I get close. Oh, thank you. Oh, you are my savior. Yes! Oh! Oh, you've solved so many of my problems. Okay. Let's get to exploring this thing. Huh? Oh, it looks like in that, uh... In that graveyard over there, that looks like it might have been, like, some kind of creator board. Let's go see what that's about. Huh, it's not a graveyard. It seems to just be a regular park. For some reason, like, just the whole look of this area, my brain just immediately went to Graveyard. R.P. Banklaw. Made by Petzon, thanks to Stats Delis Pac-Man. For the ideas, suggestions, contributions, and the great support. Excellent. Uh, now, as always, and I know I don't always remember to mention this in the video, if you want to give this map a try for yourself, uh, there will be a link to the workshop page in the description. I guess I'll check out whatever's in here, since this building caught my eye from above. And I must say, 
The faux destroyed columns aren't something that I would personally go for in what appears to be a government building. I don't think a government building should be mimicking the appearance of a fallen civilization. I think maybe it sends the wrong message. Although, given the population around here, maybe it's appropriate. Alright, <laughs> let's open the door once more with my left hand. This is strange. There's just like a stage, but it's like... There's no seating, there's just a stage. It's like, it's here to entertain, what, five, ten people? And like some kind of presentation room? What is this? I also can't help but notice that the ambient sounds have cut out. I know it's par for the course to have that happen when you enter a building. It does make sense from a map-making perspective, but... It still creeps me out every time, especially when I notice the transition. Even worse when it takes me a while to notice the transi the transition, actually, so that's... There's no winning. Is this like some kind of courthouse? The only thing that's a little bit rough about doing the doors this way is that I need to keep my hand clasped for long enough for the animation to trigger. Which isn't a huge deal and is certainly a worthwhile price to pay to be able to use my left hand when the flashlight or a weapon is out. It's just that, you know, I'll have to get used to having to wait a second. I'm not going to be going through all of these houses because obviously that would take forever. But I do kind of want to get a feel for what's going on up above, so that the contrast of what's going on down below will stand out even more. And I see it trying to tempt me to go down below. Well, this building looks interesting. When I walk around these RP city maps, I always feel like Charlton Heston in uh, Omega Man. Huh. What a weird place. And you know, it's strange. Oh, that's a cool image. How you can see the building on top of the water tower, if it's even supposed to be a water tower, through the skylight. I think what's bugging me the most about this building is the disconnect between the styles that are being used. So we look up and we see these modern ceiling tiles and these angled roofs with the really elegant looking skylights surrounding it but we look down and it almost looks like a prison we've got these rusted railings and exposed brick on the walls i'm not going to spend too long on the individual buildings like i said this place just really kind of triggered something in me and I'm really, really fascinated by it. Especially, I love this visual right here. I, I love being able to see towering objects in a skylight. I can understand how some might even find that creepy, but to me, it just looks cool. In the Minecraft server that I run with my cousin, we try to get that look a lot. We try to make sure that every skylight sees a lot more than just the sky. Now, what is in here? Locked. Huh. That's odd. I don't suppose we'll be able to open this? No? Hmm. Well, you know me, and a locked door isn't a deterrent. It just makes me more intrigued. If only there was some cheaty, cheeky thing I could do about that. Yep! Spawn menu? No clip. Did you just hear, like, a metal grinding noise? Hmm. Locked again! Oh my god, the- I don't know if you can hear it, but the dogs next door are so loud! In we go again! Yeah, there wasn't much of note in that building. I assume that the reason the doors are locked are because in multiplayer, this would probably function as the police station. Hello. 
You're a very uncharacteristically dark and spooky walkway from what we've seen before. Huh. What an interesting choice by the creator of this map. Normally you'd try to hide the edge as much as you could, but we can come right up to it and take a look outside. That really is interesting. I wonder why... Oh, I feel really nervous in here now. It almost feels like somewhere I'm not supposed to be. It's the dim lighting leading up to something that most map creators- Stop it, phone! Don't need jump scares right now. Why don't I mute you? Why don't I learn? Uh. But, yeah, as I was saying, it's this dim lighting in an obscure, out-of-the-way tunnel that leads you to something that most map creators would try their hardest to cover up. Okay. Well, now I gotta get over there, because it looks like this tunnel might actually lead over to that side. So maybe it's not really the edge of the map after all. Maybe there's something over there that we can see. What just happened to my vision? It, it was almost like my view tripped over something. And there's some very, very strange sounds playing. Like thunder. And some distorted hum. There's nothing stopping me over here from just wandering off into the desert. What? This is not what I expected at all. Alright, well, enough of this place. I guess later on we'll try to just wander off into the desert. Assuming there's not just an invisible wall somewhere. And normally map creators would try to stop you from even seeing that there's an outside and obscure it however they could. But here, it's like you're welcome to try to leave, but... Where would you go? It kind of makes me wonder what the thinking was on that. Like, why... There's those weird sounds again. From an RP perspective, what does that add to the map? That's why for some of these I've been tempted to look up videos of people playing on the map just to see what it's like, because on the one hand, yes, that would kind of ruin it for me, so I suppose I would have to watch it after to not have features of the map spoiled for me. But at the same time, when I talked about RP Downtown V2 a while back, I was talking about it from the perspective of someone who had played the map before and is disturbed by seeing it empty. With maps like this, and especially RP Asheville, which was new at the time, I never played on them from an RP perspective. I've only played them to explore them. But if our goal is to find the underground, I can't think of a better way to do that than to get as low as possible. Ow, those were my legs. Yeah, pretty safe bet we found the underground. Let's try this door. First here is some kind of power plant. Huh. Is this some alternative way that I could have gotten down without breaking my legs? Yes, okay. So just so we know, there is a staircase over here that is actually closed off from everything else. Oh, no it isn't. We can get in through here. Alright, good to know. Confusing maps can be fun and very scary. But it also kind of hurts my ability to plan my route through the place so that we see everything in an entertaining order, so that there's not so much repetition of going back and forth through the same areas. Oh, that looks inviting. Okay, I guess we're going down now. 
Eh. Luckily, that fall wasn't enough to break my legs this time. How deep does this go, I wonder? Let's save that for later. Come on. There we go. We'll save that for later. <laughs> I took one look down that tunnel and I was like, nope, we're not doing this right now. Flashlight out. We've got an elevator up going right there. And the abyss right here. Let's go the way that doesn't have the abyss. Oh, are we going to be able to get through here? We are. Now if we come down this way, that was the direction that the tunnel was headed. So it must run either behind these doors, or else it goes down. Somewhere beyond where I could see. No, okay, it comes out through here. Haha! <laughs> This has been successfully dodged. I do not have to walk down the dark tunnel of doom. And with stuff like that, you can't tell me it's not meant to be scary. Where does this go? Ah, there's a subway station. Which makes me wonder, how far down these tracks can we go? Uh, not far, it seems. So where does that put us in relation to everything that we've seen so far? Okay, this is really starting to disturb me now. At first I was a little bit annoyed because I keep getting pulled in all these different directions and it makes it very hard for me to visualize the layout of these tunnels and know kinda where to go so that we don't repeat areas. But it's kind of given birth to a new problem. I'm running into a lot of areas that I haven't seen before, but which by my mental model of where we've been so far, should be intersecting things we've already seen. There might be more verticality to all this than I thought. Don't think you could disguise that sound along with the door. I could have sworn I heard like a moan or a hum as I opened it. Okay, we're back here now. Let's continue our descent. Alright, I'm sorry about this. I know my commentary of this underground section has been very rough up until this point. And that's because when there's a lack of linearity, it makes it very hard to frame my commentary as a narrative, as I'm progressing forward and experiencing things as they come. So I'm going to try to take a second and reorganize my thoughts a little bit. What is this? Okay, now you can't tell me that this isn't meant to be scary. I understand why RP maps have these underground sections, right? We're back here. I don't understand how these tunnels crisscross, but I understand why RP maps would want to have these underground areas. It's for criminal hideouts. It's for people to hide from the police so that they can have their money printers or run whatever they're trying to run away from the prying eyes of the police. And because it makes for a more fun hunt when the police come down here and look for them. But there's so much about this that doesn't seem like it's made for that. There's so much about this that makes it seem like it's meant to be scary. Okay. I'm going to put a pin in that, come back to you in a second. This is, yes, this is where this ramp came down. I'm trying to piece together a mental image of this, and I think as we progress, I'm getting a little bit of a better idea. That 
Every time I think we've reached the bottom, this place just gets deeper and deeper. It's kind of a theme, though. I don't know why I keep expecting that. I don't know how many times I can go deeper than I expected. Hello, soundscape change. Hello, sudden blood stain on an RP map. This isn't just any... This just... This isn't just any mood change. This is... This is something different altogether. I'm starting to realize why you guys wanted me to do this. And I just realized... I don't have the safety Glock add-on enabled. What's gonna be over here? <laughs> I'm actually really tense right now. I suppose this is where that vent came out. The drag marks go this way, but the door is knocked in. Huh. And the door's a physics object. Thank you for that heart attack. All right. Well, getting it out of the way early. I hope that's how that works. What is this? I can't even point my light down because it just means the screen goes entirely black. However far down that goes, it's well beyond the scope of my flashlight. This looks like an interactive control panel. Or not. Oops. Don't teleport on top of it, and certainly don't teleport up and over the edge. What does this do? See, it's hard to tell if... Every time the strings kick in, it makes me think I'm gonna find something creeping up behind me. Now I don't know what to think. I was told by all of you, all of you that suggested this, that this map was not creepy. That it just had a little bit of, a, of, a, of an eerie ambiance in the underground. There's definitely something more going on down here. And I must say, I'm intrigued. Because we're as scared as I get, I love this. From a content creating perspective, I saw that blood stain, and yes, I was a little bit scared for what's to come, but at the same time, something in the back of my mind was going, yes. Oh, and of course, we have the obligatory, utterly functionless from an engineering perspective, blind corner room. Oh, that's a tall ceiling. Don't like that. Don't like looking up. I almost like looking up at a tall ceiling. As little as looking down at a low floor. 52375. What does that mean? This door is also busted down, so... At least that means that whatever was in here left, right? I'm not encouraged by that groaning noise. Okay, don't like the sound of my footsteps here. Gonna see if we can't uh, jump on out of here. Maybe use that car as a ramp. Uh, there's something really eerie about vehicles in the darkness just barely appearing on the edge of my light. I'm actually, I'm actually afraid to move forward. Did not expect that coming into this map. I thought, uh 
I thought this would be one of those maps that I only explore to humor people because it was so requested. Joke's on me! Oh, there's so much to this! I'm glad for the linear progression. Careful what you wish for, huh? Uh, not so grateful that these doors are physics objects. They kind of trip me up. Had to be more than one person to produce all this blood. Was it something to do with the cargo? Seeing all these blood stains in a small room, uh, with all these crates, kind of reminds me of, uh, that one short that was part of Creepshow, about the monster in the crate that eats everyone who gets close. I feel like I shouldn't be heading to- no, no, now is not the time to lose tracking, controller. Now is not the time. Not with my flashlight hand. See, every time those strings in the soundtrack pick up, it makes me think I'm getting closer to something. Closer to some horrific discovery. Or some unexpected NPC that's gonna come running out at me and scare the absolute bejesus out of me. So it looks like the end of this tunnel is collapsed and blocked off, which is A-OK -okay with me. Flooded tunnels filled with cars have always been really scary to me. Ever since that one part at the beginning of Modern Warfare 3 where you're diving through the collapsed tunnels in New York. Now the question is, do I come this way? Or the other way? Uh, looks like I don't have a choice. Is this maybe some kind of, yeah, it looks like it's a collapsed elevator. Let's jump up and through. Ignore the fact that I can see through the map when my head goes through the ceiling. Luckily, it's so brief that I don't really get to see any spoilers. And if there are to be any spoilers, I imagine they're going to go down low anyway. It's weird how... when you're led to progress to something scary... You almost become nostalgic for other parts of the map. Remember... Remember when I was a little bit unnerved by that tunnel leading to the ghost town up above? This almost doesn't feel to me like it could be the same map as that bright and cheerful RP map that we came down from up above. I'm, like, nostalgic for it, and this map's got that same effect that some other underground ones have had, where I honestly couldn't tell you how long I've been recording for. It feels like it's been a long time. That's a nice touch in the sound design, hearing the rats scatter as I open the door. It's like a collapsed subway tunnel, but... That doesn't make a lot of sense. We've already come down through two levels of tunnel. There were the passenger trains up top, and below that was a layer with cargo trains, so what is all this? These are like the even deeper tunnels on like the Moscow Metro or so, something like that that's meant to evacuate VIPs in the event of a nuclear attack. Okay. Okay. Thought we'd go a little longer before I'd see something big appear on the edge of my light. That, honest to God, scared me, which is just... Which just speaks to how effectively this is building tension. Maybe I can crouch down? Ugh. Oh, I actually can. I didn't really expect that to work, but here we are. Ugh. I can't imagine how many of you would have been yelling at me if I had ended the video right there. These are definitely passenger trains. <sighs> if 
Feels like we're reaching the end of something. And at this point, there's more to this underground than there is to the whole upper map, which, granted, I didn't explore too much, but... The sounds have cut out entirely. Oh, this chamber is so wide, my flashlight doesn't even do anything in here. It's gonna want me to jump in, isn't it? Isn't it? Is there maybe something behind this little mound here? Alright, in we go. What about it? There's nothing down here. Nothing in this puddle. What... What was the point of all this? I almost expected to find, like, an Easter egg or something, but what was all this about? Okay, I... I suppose... We're out? Seriously, I'm so confused as to what the point of that was. Let me duck down. See, now what I'm thinking is we no-clip... Oh no, we don't even have to no-clip. There's a ladder right here. We can climb up to that other floor. Come on. There we go. And what did that do for us? Well, there's a vent on our right. <sighs> the great thing about being in vents is that you can't run from whatever's in them. Did I say great? I was thinking of something else. Uh, that probably goes back down to where we were. I know there was an area where we could jump up on some boxes, and that probably leads to there. But what about this? You know what? I, I bet this all probably just goes right back up to, uh, to where that hole in the wall was way up top. By that red hallway. Okay, I've gone ahead and no-clipped up here just to see where it goes. And I must say, this is unexpectedly eerie. I'm walking through this vent that I know is underground, and yet... I can hear the cityscape, the sounds of traffic and sirens, and another drop down onto here? Oh, wait, that was a ladder sound. Maybe I could actually use a ladder. Okay, I could actually climb it like a ladder. And we must be close to the top because, yes, we must be close to the top because I saw buildings through there, sorry. Um. And why am I having such a hard time crawling through here? We're up above. We're above that. Ow! Oh, my knees. Uh, we're up above the blind corner room. This is not somewhere we could access before. Okay, maybe we're actually making some kind of progress here. Oh, those invisible ladders certainly didn't make it easy, did they? Maybe I can jump up here. Jump up here. Jump over to here. This all looks too convenient not to be intentional platforming. There's a grate above me with a door. And a danger sign. Okay, uh... It's like there's a ladder here, but I can't fit through. Ugh. Oh. I have a better idea. Wee. Why am I no clipping so slowly? Wee. Yeah, I'm not good at platforming at the best of times, but it's especially difficult in VR. I don't know how you do this normally, but away we go. I tried. 
Now, what's beyond this door? More blood! You know, in retrospect, probably could have predicted that. And listen to that, we still have the traffic noises. We're very close to the actual cityscape. Are these like septic tanks or something? Oops. After all that, there doesn't seem to be much to do here. You know what? I just remembered about that big room with the pipe. I couldn't figure out how to push these buttons, or if we could push these buttons. It looks like an interactive panel, but maybe not? But even still, I never tried to jump into here. Alright, let's do it! Yeah. Oh, for a second I didn't think I made it. Well, it's let me continue this far. Oh, it's just blocked. Oh, uh, no. No, no, it is not. All right, uh, let's climb up here. What's all this about? Oh, platforming. Now, what is up here? Oh, mind the gap. A couple different ways we can go. Now, up here... ...is an elevator shaft. Is this the same one from before? I don't think it is, but... Uh, what other elevator shaft have we seen? I thought I went to the top of it. What's behind you? More hallways. And what's over here? A clogged hallway, but another one of these tunnels. Okay, well I know what I'm doing first. Which unfortunately involves me taking a knee again. And once again, we're close enough to the surface to hear those city soundscapes. We're back up here. Uh, we're getting that flashlight bug again. We're back here. This is the surface, and over there is where we entered. And right here is where we didn't. This is probably where that other hallway led, right? So we keep finding new ways back to the surface, but... We're no closer to figuring out what's going on with that whole underground area. That was weird. I'm back safe on the surface now, and I'm assuming that there was nothing else left down there for me to find. I looked for a little bit longer, couldn't see any other paths to take. But if I did miss something, I'd be happy to come back and take a look. So, you know, if you happen to know something that I don't, please let me know in the comments where to look. But I will find out in another video, or I won't at all. I'm not sure which one I'd rather have. Then again, I kind of feel like I'm not giving the creator enough credit. I really applaud how extensive and how detailed that underground is, and all the sound work that's gone into making it a really creepy experience. It's like a horror map, but taking place beneath the surface of what is advertised as just a normal RP map. Imagine how many hours you could spend playing on here and never even know that it's there. I get the feeling that the creator of this map is somebody who appreciates those scary moments in things that aren't meant to be scary as much as I do. And come to think of it, whatever was implied to be down there, well, it's sure not there anymore. And maybe that's scarier than having encountered something in the tunnels themselves. As I said, though, if there is something scary actually to be found on this map, please let me know in the comments what I should do or where I should look. But that'll be another time. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for even more creepy and comfy content. And as always, 
I will see you in the next video.